Sam, are you ready to learn how to arrange numbers in descending order? You bet, Miss R. And I know you will ask me to recap what I remember about ascending and descending orders. So here I go. We can arrange things and even numbers in ascending and descending orders. A uh, ascending goes uh, up. So ascending order means arranging from small to big, low to high, less to more, young to old, and so on. The descending goes the down. And it means going from big to small, high to low, old to young, more to less, and so on. Excellent, Sam. When we have numbers arranged in descending orders, it also means that they are arranged from big to small. Like you can see in this example, 5 is the biggest, so that comes first, then 4, and last 2. Descending order is just the opposite of ascending, right? Yes, Sam, that is correct. In the last class, I learned that one way to arrange numbers in ascending order was to do forward counting and arrange the numbers in order in which they appear while doing forward counting. If descending is the opposite of ascending, can we use counting backwards? Why don't you try? I'm going to give you four numbers. 10, 7, 19 and 15. Why don't you try to arrange them in descending order using backwards counting? All right, I'll start from 20. So 20, 19, oh 19. So I'll write that first. 18, 17, 16, 15. So 15 comes next. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So 10 comes next. 9, 8, 7. And that comes last. So I have arranged the numbers in descending order and 19 is the biggest, then 15, 10 and then 7. Well done Sam. And if the numbers are big and counting backwards is not easy, then can we use place value for comparison as we did for ascending? Absolutely. Let me show you an example. I have three numbers, 48, 74 and 57. To compare these numbers, we can arrange them one under the other according to place value. Tens house is the biggest house which has digits, so we'll start comparing from tens house. Alright, so we have 4, 7 and 5. Since we need the biggest number first, let us see which digit is the biggest. 7 is the biggest, so 74 is the biggest number. Let's write it down. Now we are left with two numbers, 48 and 57. Again, we compare their tens digits, 4 and 5. And the biggest out of the two is 5. So the number 57 will come next. And now we are only left with one number. So we can say that's the biggest. That comes last. So 74 is the biggest. After that, 57. And then 48. So now we have numbers arranged in descending order. Great! Can I try now please? Most certainly. Here are the numbers. Okay, so I'm first going to write them one under the other according to place value. Now hundreds place is the biggest place that has digits. So I'll compare the hundreds digits. Six is the biggest, so 643 is the biggest. I'll write that first. Now we are left with three numbers. Four is the biggest, so 434 will be the next one. And now we are left with two numbers. And both have two, so that's the biggest. But which is the bigger number? Uh, yes, we will compare their tens digits. And 1 is bigger than 0. So next will be 210. And then we are left with 1, 201.
correct one more please one more please all right sure here are your four numbers 564 871 561 and 529 and i have written them one under the other and we'll start comparing the hundreds digits eight is the biggest so 871 is the biggest number we have three numbers left all have five which is the biggest out of the three well we'll have to check the tens digits we have six six and two six is the biggest uh but two numbers have six so we check the ones digits isn't that right yes you're doing it right now four and one four is bigger than one which means 564 will come next and then we are left with two numbers both have five in hundreds place in tens place we have six and two six is bigger than two so 561 comes next then we are left with 529 only and that is the smallest number very good sam you have understood it very well please like share and subscribe